Good day, sir. This is what I have learned in physical education. First is, we have health-related fitness or HRF and self-assessment. First is, we have anthropometric measurements. Which is, the goal is, take the body measurement by using weighing scale, tape measure, and meter stick. First is, get your BMI. But first, what is BMI? BMI is body mass index. So, by getting your BMI, you must know this formula so you can calculate it. And for the WHR, we must use this formula in order to calculate it. One step is the 3 minute step test. In which, this is a test for cardiovascular endurance level on base how your heart rate will up, come back after a physical activity. Third one, we have the hamstring and flexor test. It is a test for our flexibility of our hips and hamstrings. Fourth one, we have the zipper test. It is a test for our shoulders flexibility. Fifth, we have the curl up. It is a test for our abdominal muscle and endurance. Sixth, we have the 90 degree push up. It is a test for our upper shoulder for its muscle and endurance. Lastly, we have the muscular arm support. It is a test for the upper arm and the muscular strength of the shoulder. Barriers of physical activity. When we say barriers, it is refers to the variety of challenges that can hinder you to become physically active. Personal barriers, this is the things that you feel you feel like you are feared that you're going to be injured, self-motivation, so low self-esteem like that, um, boredom. More than non enjoyment. Next is environmental barriers. Um, environmental barriers is also has a huge effect for someone's physical activity because there are the things that hindrances you to become physically active. So first, there is the crime, um, the pollution, the um, transportations. Or there are no space that you can take your physically exercises or there's no place that you can take an exercise because due to the many of transportations lack of self-discipline insufficient time to prepare few choices lack of discipline that cannot control their urge to eat unhealthy food. An efficient time to prepare the unhealthy foods are cheaper period options and limited options that you you have no control so what regularly sold in the cafeteria. In doing physical activities, we must also balance our eating habits. So we must eat fruit and vegetables because it gives us a wide range of mineral and vitamins that even help us to, pro to prevent the diseases. We must also need to eat the group contains milk, cheese, and yogurt that are, that are high of protein, calcium, other vitamins, and minerals. Also, eating fish, meat, eggs, nuts, and pulses gives us protein, zinc, iron, vitamins, and other minerals. Principles of exercises are necessary to maximize the outcome of the physical fitness program and to modify the FITT, in which means the frequency, intensity, 
type and time. So, this is the principles of the physical activity. First, we have the overload principle, principle of progression, principle of specificity, and principle of the reversibility. What is frequency? The level of exercise refers to the amount of times a week that physical activity is done. What is intensity? Intensity is the rate at which the activity is carried out. What is type? The type of activity shall be determined in accordance with the concept of development and the specificity. We have the cardiovascular fitness. We have step aerobics, walking, and jogging. Flexibility, stretching, sit and reach, and lunges. And for the lastly, we have the muscular strength and endurance. We have squats, sit-ups, and dips. What is time? Time is the duration of the physical exercise session. Inversely, the more intensive the job being conducted, the shorter time it is completed. The rate to vigorous physical activities or the MVPAS. Physical activities refers to the movement of the skeletal muscles that increases the basal energy expenditures. It can improve your health and reduce risk to the two types of diabetes.